Okay, let's take a look at how we can make our electrical connections uh, for the audio capture lab. So when you come into the lab, you should have an audio cable that's been cut in half like this one has, and we have the wires exposed here. So what we want to do is we want to be able to capture the audio signals from the audio right and audio left channels with the DAC, and we'll use that information we'll, in LabVIEW to process a WAV file, and we'll be able to record sound over this headphone jack. So to do that, we need to make some electrical connections. So we need to get these signals into the DAC somehow. So what I have here is I have my audio cable cut. In most of the audio cables follow this coloring scheme where audio right is this red cable, audio left is the black, and then we have a ground for both the channels. And in this case is a bare copper wire. Um, your colors may be slightly different. Um, we've included a chart in the assignment handout that shows you uh, what the different possible colors are so you can identify the wires. So ref refer to that if you don't have this exact same coloring scheme. Now, we need to connect these wires to the DAC, so I'm going to use some of the cables that we have present at our lab bench. So the first thing is I'll get my uh, yellow alligator clip here. We'll use that to capture the audio right channel. So I'll just take the alligator clip and connect to the red wire. I have a blue wire for the audio left. So I can connect with my alligator clip there. Make sure we get a good solid connection. And then finally we need some way of connecting ground to the DAC. So I'll take this black wire in this case. We'll use the test lead type. And I'm going to push to expose the hook and grab on to the ground that way. So now I've got my three wires, so let's jump over to the connector box and we'll connect to the DAC using our BNC to banana jack adapters. Okay, so we've got our DAC connector uh, out on the bench so that we're ready to connect to our audio cable. Um, so in this demo, I'm gonna use analog input channels zero and one to capture the audio right and audio left channels respectively. So the first thing I wanna do is check and make sure that my settings are correct on the connector board. So you notice up here, the switches are both set to BNC. So that means that the BNC connectors are physically connected to the DAC. And I have both of my grounding selected set to floating source, which is correct for this application since the audio cable is not physically connected to the building's earth ground system. It's not plugged into a wall or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my BNC to banana adapters, and I need, we'll need two of them, one for each channel. Make sure it's on there. Grab my second one here. All right, and we have our two connectors right there. So our audio right channel was the yellow alligator clip. So I'm gonna to to go ahead and take that and I'll plug it into the red terminal because that's the positive wire. The audio left was my blue wire and that forms the positive of the second channel. And now I need to connect both of these channels to ground. So one of them I can do rather easily because we have that black wire that's connected to the ground in the cable and we can just plug that straight into one of the black terminals here. Um, but the problem is we need a ground connection for our second channel, right? So this wire has to go to both of these two channels for both of the, the channels to work properly. Um, we could get another cable and we could plug in here and then connect down to the wire in our headphone jack back down over here. Um, but it's a little bit simpler and cleaner if we can just make this connection up here on the DAC, right? So one way that we can do that is we can grab just a bit of wire and we can unscrew our banana jack and tighten that screw back down so we clamp the wire on one of the connectors and we're going to repeat that process for the second channel All right, so now both of our channels have a good connection to ground. So the important thing to take away here is it doesn't matter what order 
we connect our grounds together, they just all have to be electrically connected together. So as long as there's a wire going between them and there's not significant resistance between those terminals, they're all at the same potential. So that means that our zero potential is constant across all of our analog inputs, which is important for getting consistent measurements. So that's how we do the wiring portion of our audio capture lab.